The Dodgers are down bad. After letting Trey Turner walk to free agency, they are in desperate needs of a shortstop because Gavin Lux is projected to be their starting shortstop. They're out of the top five in power rankings for the first time that I can remember, and they want to trade for Ha-Sung Kim. And I just want to say firsthand, if this happened, I'd be so sad. But the Dodgers are desperate and down bad. Call me Josh Naylor if you want, because I want all the Smoke Dodgers fans. So let's talk about this. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. If you guys like baseball and Padres baseball, this is the place to be. So here we go. As we all know, Trey Turner signed that massive deal with the Phillies in the beginning of the offseason, leaving him unavailable for the Dodgers. And their predicted shortstop is Gavin Lux. And he is actually a natural shortstop, but he's been playing most of his time in the major leagues at second base. But he's just never panned out. He's a top draft pick, top prospect. But Lux has just never really been that guy. And, you know, when you got a team that wants to win a championship, and especially after the disappointment of the 2022 season, you know, that's going to be hard for them to have Gavin Lux as their championship shortstop because, you know, he, he's a solid player. I'm not going to say that he sucks or anything, but he's not really a championship team shortstop, in my opinion. I think Hassan Kim brings that intensity. Kim is owed $7 million next year. He's, like I said in the Pablo Lopez video, he's improved in every aspect offensively of his game, would be batting average, power, OPS walks, less strikeouts. Kim has just gone so much better and I see him as a very projectable player like I've been saying. You know, the thing about Kim is that with the way he's working, I only see him as getting better. Yeah, he's never going to be that 30 home run guy like he was in the KBO, but he's going to be projectable enough to be able to have a lot more success in the major leagues at the plate. Obviously, he's got that gold glove defense. Lux is not the worst defender either. It's just Lux isn't as projectable as Kim. I will say this about Lux. He did sort of have a breakout season in a sense. I mean, compared to his performance in the last three years before 2022, he had 276 with like a 745 OPS and a 105 OPS plus. I mean, those are no all-star, you know, MVP numbers, but for what he's been doing in the past in the Major League Baseball, I mean, good job to him, but it's not to the level of play where he was projected to be as the 20th pick in the first round. So that's just my take on Lux. I would only trade Kim for starting pitching. I would definitely not trade with the Dodgers. Just too much bias, too much. I just don't like the Dodgers. You know, it's a PR nightmare, sort of. Not really, but you know what I mean? It's just kind of an uncomfortable situation, you know, like the kind of like the mascot of the Padres in a way, getting traded over to our mortal enemies pretty much. So that's my take on that. Kim's contract is four years, $28 million. He's obviously played two years. He's owed $7 million next year. And I really think that his contract isn't very player friendly. I think it's really team friendly for that level of production defensively and pretty good, solid average offense. It's a team friendly contract in my opinion, and I would not want to trade that away unless it's for a starting pitcher that's not from the Dodgers. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think with the right return, you'd still want to do this trade? Do you guys just not want to do it at all because it's the Dodgers? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Once again, if you haven't already, hit the like button. Turn on the notification bell. If you guys like Padres baseball and baseball in general, this is the place to be. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. I say bleep the Dodgers, but thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.